okay, now that I know that I have this right, I can take my headphones off. Ambient music in the background, that's what I was going for. And then instead, I muted myself. <laughs> Welcome in, guys, back to the, the page. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. I really do appreciate it. So a lot of you know, um, I am a Friends fanatic. I don't know every little thing there is to know about friends only because my brain doesn't retain information like that it just doesn't okay so welcome in hi hi if you guys didn't know i got that look at this thing it is heavy too boom there she blows really really cool um i the first box i've ever gotten was actually tokyo treat and i had a lot of fun with that so um yeah Here's, uh, here's this. Oh, when it comes to the YouTube thing, Jeff, thanks for the tip, but I don't have time for editing, so it is what it is. So if I mess up, fall out my chair, sneeze, burp, whatever the case may be, unfortunately, you have to hear it too. Yay! Thanks for hanging out with us. I'm not going to be reading every single comment today, but thanks again. And we're back. Darn phone. Hey Eric, hey Jamino, welcome in everybody. Hi Sky, thanks for the shares and stuff too. All right, so I'm not, I normally wear a small, but the company, when you buy this friends box from culturefly.com, they basically let you pick your size. I would normally get a small, um, but COVID has me, you know, a little concerned. So this one is a small, but I, I got the medium just in case. And again, it does come in a really uh, large box. When they shipped it though, they shipped it like this, in this box with the clear paper on it and the shipping label right over top of that. So it, to me, that's a little weird because I'm so used to the boxes being inside of another box, just so people can't see what you're you know, buying and trying to take it. Look, look, look. Monica, bang. We were on a break. <laughs> All right. 1994 is when Friends first came out, sometime in September, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, I was too young to watch it then, so I became a fan because of the reruns. So if your show ever ends, don't get upset because there's always reruns. All right, so first things first, uh, they give this little card here. It kind of gives you um, a little rundown of what's actually in the box. And it's all really well done, actually. So here's a, a blanket or a sweater, I'm thinking. Oh, it is, it's a sweater. Guess what's coming, sweater weather. Not for me here in Florida, but I can fake it. Let's open it. Maybe I got a sweater instead of a shirt, I don't know. Hey, Joshua, pivot. I could be wearing, could I be wearing any more clothes? <laughs> I remember that episode. Oh, cool. It says, how you doing? So purple sweater, very simple to the point. We all love Joey. How you doing? And I like the little tag on it. Cool, all right, nice. And it's a little bigger too, which is great because sweaters are meant to be big. Oh, that's cute. Check this crap out. Couch keychain. Heck yes, I need to redo my keys now that I had to take off all those work keys and stuff pom pom love I know pom pom queen yes nobody sends stars keep your stars for tomorrow night I do look a little sweaty because I am sweaty I do not feel 100% today which is why I'm not going to do a three hour long stream but I figured this is the least I could do because I'm just as excited as everybody else so it's got the uh, pivot couch, but it's got a little one underneath it, a little tiny one that's dangly right there, and that says friends on it. So, as much as I don't wanna bang this up, I am gonna be putting it on my keychain. That's super cute. Hey Frankie, thanks for coming in. That's cute, check this crap out. <laughs> Sorry, I know. Hey Blue Man, welcome in. Ooh, cool this I'm gonna be happy for I know it's hot here in Florida but I do wear a lot of big socks just because the, the floor in my house is tile tile and wood so 
I don't have any carpet to cushion my, my toesies. There we go. And they just say friends on them, pretty cut and dry. They've got the, the color to them, kind of like the 90s did with the paint splatter deal. All right, hey Ryan Diggs, welcome in. Then we have this here. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's it has it on the, you gotta be kidding me right now, you guys. Wait, just wait. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Y'all probably know what it is now that you've seen the back of the box. I'll have to keep the box though to keep these in good shape. Oh, hi. <laughs> Oh goodness, look at it. Salt and pepper shakers. And it's got the little duck. Who who remembers what he uh what they named the duck? Who remembers? Who remembers? Put it in the chat. What did they name the duck? Alright, I'm gonna keep that in the box. Those are super cute. I did order um, a quarterly thing, so they'll come in periodically, which is awesome. My lady is obsessed with friends. Frankie, I'm telling you, culturefly.com, it's relatively inexpensive and you get some really good quality items. This doesn't say, it says hand wash only. Let's see. I'm glad there's companies out there like Culturefly doing this kind of stuff. Oh, sweet. There we go. It's a friend's mug. It says Central Perk, says friends, nothing on the bottom. Come on. They could get creative with that part of it. So I spent right almost $30, or no, $40 on the box, and that uh, includes shipping. So already I've got a sweater, a pair of socks, a mug, and a keychain out of it. I feel like I'm definitely getting my money's worth from the actual product itself. Because you can tell the socks are really good quality. They're not they're not cheapy, which is nice. And the actual friends part of it is in the sock itself. So like it's it that part's not gonna wash off. This sweater as well is like one of those really soft blankets. So that's another thing that's really cool. And then you can kind of see here it says, you know, how you doing? And that part is actually, yeah, it's stitched in there. So that's not gonna wash off either, which is nice. So there's a lot of different uh, shirts and stuff that I bought that happen to be like, uh, you know, just commemorative type stuff. And everything washes off of it really quick. So Chick Jr. was a duck's name. Who got the duck? Hey, Doom, thank you for the stars. Right off the bat, honey. Pom-pom love for you, my dear. Pom-pom love. Thank you, Doom. So already, and the salt and pepper shaker too. So I feel like already I've already gotten the money's worth out of it, which is super awesome. So, and then the keychain itself too is one of those uh, like acrylic metal type. So that's really nice because it you can tell it's gonna hold up well even the the ring that holds it on isn't cheap so you know that they didn't skimp out what is this what is this like a baby changing thing it says friends on it and then of course it's got the lobster it's got the central perk it's got New York in the background taxi cab let's see let's pop this beast oh what the heck? What is it? What? What? It's a backpack? Shut the front door. It is. Holy shnikes. It's a backpack. You have to be kidding me right now. Now I have something to put my keychain on. My, my awesome backpack. Okay, so this is just the flap that goes over top of it. And then this is the actual inside of it itself. Okay, yes. Holy crap, I do feel like you get your, your worth out of there. This would be great for when I'm going uh, out and about. Maybe like a picnic with Willow or you know something along those lines. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. I know, right? If I did not know there was gonna be a friend's backpack in there. I, I actually don't use purses. If I use a purse, it's because I'm going somewhere where I only need my ID and my debit card. 
and normally that's like festivals or if we do um yeah mostly festivals or concerts and stuff like that um, or if we're going somewhere like a wedding and I really don't need anything but my ID and my debit card then I'll bring a tiny purse everywhere else I go I carry so much stuff that I have backpacks so this is pretty epic if you ask me all right let's see here the duck was Yasmin oh hey Sarah welcome in yeah, friend's backpack. I think that's pretty pretty dang cool. The coffee mug is really nice. And it's, um, Frankie, if you decide to do this for your lady, I'm telling you, it's a different box every time. So it's kind of like if you saw my YouTube video of the Tokyo Treat, the friend's does that as well. It doesn't really go by seasons per se, but it does different things every time you get a box. So they do give you the option on culturefly.com to buy a uh, well, single box, uh, three boxes, six boxes, or 12 boxes. But it also depends on the box that you get. So some people are like, oh, well, I went and I tried to get this box and it was only this much. Uh, they only had this many options. So I, I, I believe it depends on the actual box that you get. Thank you for 431 days, Ryan. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in, you guys. All right, last thing. Let's see. Ooh comes in a tube oh nice that is pretty cool I'm trying to go slow so it all doesn't f wow really okay it is a friend's dartboard this is a sturdy little fella the the mat is very thick this is plastic but it's it's pretty durable and it looks like as long as I hang it up it'll kind of roll out there I'm gonna leave it flat in here and then the darts what the heck Oh, that's clever that's why it's so heavy they are magnet darts so for fun there we go magnet darts wait I gotta put one in the bullseye so I don't look like such a turd there we go tell me that's not cute I was wondering why this is so heavy but I guess it's a layer of magnet on the inside of it and the darts are magnet. Of course they would do that on friends because you can't you can't actually have something that's you know can be dangerous on a set. There we go. Should I put I think I should put I'm not gonna put this back in there. I think I'm gonna hang this up in here somewhere. That way I can play darts. We have a real dartboard, but this will be nice for if the kids wanna play and we don't want them to stab each other in the eye. Hang it on your window. Yeah, right. Then I throw the dart at it and break my window. That would not be good. All right, let's see. Okay, so just kind of a recap. I'm super excited. I got this box. It's called, um, the. it's a friends box and it's from culturefly.com. And it basically has all of the little things that you could want that the show had. Uh, I guess you could say memorable moments, not most memorable moments. Um, because there are a lot of different moments for me where I was just like, okay, and that's what sticks out in my head. Cyberfish mentioned one of them earlier um, where Joey puts on all of uh, Chandler's clothes and he does the, can I be, you know, because you know how Chandler talks. But super, super cool. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Again, it's kind of like they knew that winter's coming because the box that they sent me d does have long socks and a sweater in it. Um, I was expecting uh, like a t-shirt kind of like the one I'm wearing that says friends all over it so to get a really nice made I almost thought it was a blanket at first so to get a really nice made sweater um, that apparently you can wash it and everything but you have to hang it dry but to get something like that is really cool to me just to go buy a friend's sweater in a store right now is anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks 
depending on where you go. The socks, same thing, probably like $7. So it's, it's really nice to get in a mug too. You can get a mug for what, eight bucks? The salt and pepper shaker, probably the same amount. The backpack, the way that it's made, I would price it at 20. So you're getting well worth what you put into it. Um, but I think you get more out of it if you get the longer subscriptions. So it just depends. I do have another Tokyo treat box coming next month. So I'll be doing another uh, YouTube video for that. I'll probably do the same situation where I go live and you guys get to see it all. But I'm super happy with it. I'm really glad I did it. Um, some parts of me are uh, ready to just stick all this stuff on there now, pack it all up and start using it. Um, and I think I might. I think I'm gonna start hand washing everything that I need to hand wash and start opening things now because right now my salt and pepper shaker are kind of lame and these with the little ducks on them are way cuter way cuter so and even the the great thing about it is yeah they're cute but they could be for anyone because they don't they're not made a specific kind of way they're literally just they could match anything you've got going on in your kitchen you know, super simple, not super crazy. And you don't have to try to pick and choose which one's gonna be salt and which one's gonna be pepper because the lids on them are the same. Even though most of the time the pepper um, one has got less holes, this one is the same amount of holes. Same with the mug. I thought they could do something a little bit cooler with the mug. That's just my opinion. I'm still really, really thrilled with it because even the quality is better than the um, the merch that I have in my own merch store, which is kind of sad to say, but not as good as my sister's stuff. But um, I wish they would have done something different with the mug. Um, maybe had a more iconic moment on there. Maybe the pivot. Maybe we were on a break. Um, something, something more like that or smelly cat, who knows, but still I'm not gonna, not gonna complain. To, okay, so hand wash and don't microwave. So if you are a coffee drinker that constantly reheats your coffee, yeah, be careful, because it says you can't, you can't microwave it. So if you're a coffee drinker like me where you drink it when it's warm to cold, then you're good. I know that sounds really weird. But anyway, hey Mothership, how are you? Hey Kirk, hey Adam, thank you guys for coming in. Hey Kevin, just to recap, I got a friend's box over on Shutterfly, I got some really cool stuff. I got a sweater, I got some socks, I got a keychain, I surprisingly got a salt and pepper shaker, a coffee mug, a backpack, not gonna, not gonna knock that because that actually makes me pretty excited. Uh, it's not overly colorful either. Again, the color, the colors are mutual, so uh, anyone could really rock it. Plus, I got the dart board with the darts that come with it. So I'm definitely super happy. I did not know that the paper on top would do that and basically tell you everything that you get in there before you open it. I'm sure they do that for their own sake, so you know no one can say, oh, well, I didn't get this or that or whatever. But... um. Yeah, I'm super happy with it. Culturefly.com, if you are interested at all and you happen to be um, a Friends fan, you don't have to be a super fanatic, you know, just to get the box, but it does have a lot of cute stuff. I'm hoping to get the box that has the purple frame because that would just, that would make my day. So anywho, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let all of you go. Thank you again for coming in and hanging out with me, and I will see you all tomorrow night. Actually, tomorrow day, I am going to be resting the rest of the day, and I'm going to be going back on live tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time, 12 o'clock, Breath of the Wild, in the afternoon for me. So make sure Eastern Standard Time, if you know what that is for you. So it'll be 12 in the afternoon for me, and then later on that night, I'll be coming back starting the um, uh, Revelations, the Resident Evil Revelations. I'm starting number one. Hopefully before November is ended, I'll get through one and two. So thank you again, everybody, for coming in. Thank you for checking out this friends box with me. Super, super worth it if you're on the fence, if you should get it or not. In my opinion, I think you should. And I will see you all later. Bye.